So for each client, you're going to want to download Access Optimizer. Free download. Um, exit the Smart Client. Install it. Launch the Smart Client. And then create. A, I have a fisheye view because that's really, I think, probably one of your most important cameras here. And you can really use the optimizer here to um, do a really good de-warp. So what I've done is under setup, uh, under access optimizer, I created a group called fisheye and then just the one front fisheye. And then I've added that camera under the hydroflow dropdown, front cameras, it is 122. And then under Axis Optimizer, go to Dewarping View, drag it over, and it's going to be your 122 camera here as well, right there, mounted from the ceiling. So now this is the Dewarping View for Axis Optimizer. If you exit Setup, um, you can essentially you know, take this and zoom in. And see details. It's really not a whole lot going on right now, but I guess it's Friday, so. Um, but yeah, you can use this to log in and see details. And then something else that you're probably not used to. I think you have these the camera looking like that by default. Um, something else that you're probably not used to on the axis cameras, on any axis camera. So for example, let's say, <coughs> excuse me. Um, well, we know this is an axis camera. So here, um, if you go to search, we can actually select the cameras here. I know you have some access cameras on the engineering side, that multi-sensor. Two, three, four, five. Now, five is just like a combined view of one, two, three, and four. Um, there's two sensors set up here that have uh, the analytics going. I'll send you a, uh, a camera list, a clean camera list showing exactly which channels on which multi sensors have the analytics running. It just you know, you could have the analytics running on more than two sensors, but it's not recommended for camera's performance. So we have uh, channel two and channel four. And then we also have uh, the West multi-sensor. That one is the four by five megapixel. And that one is on channel one and four. I believe it's here. Channel one and channel four. Forensic search is what you want to filter by. I'll show you how that looks. Search for forensic search, uh, new search. And then from here, you can search for like humans, for example, over the past two hours, you can drop this, change this drop down, and put a custom uh, time time format or whatever uh, time uh, window, and then you can also narrow it down more by let's say humans who are wearing blue on the lower body color. So here, for example, you have someone who's wearing blue jeans, blue jeans, and 
sounds. You can play back. Oops. And then let's see other results that we have. People wearing blue on the bottom. This line just that yellow line just shows the path that they took. We can eliminate that if you don't like it. There's another one. And so on and so forth. You can also do this with, um, let's say, vehicles that are, let's say, white. So any white vehicle that it sees, this one is the white vehicle, white vehicle, right there, right there. So it really just helps you find what you're looking for faster. This is actually a silver vehicle, but maybe it's like a, it looks like it's white. <coughs> so that should give you an idea of what you can do with the Axis cameras. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, the license plate data is set up as well. So if you look at the license plate target drive. You can see various license plates for various vehicles. It's, it looks really accurate. I mean, this is a, this one here, <coughs> excuse me, this one is a, this one is not accurate, New but visitor. this was the original read. So it did capture it properly just not the second time probably same with this one no let's see 7 WMV348 oh I guess there are two different reads completely they just they look similar okay let me see let me know if you see any inconsistencies here I think I have to set this one up a little bit better because this is incorrect, but it did capture it again here correctly. I don't know why it tried to read that plate. It's a very, it's a longer distance that, um, not a, at a great angle either, so that's incorrect. That looks right. This looks like it was two different reads. And it was not correct because there's a three at the end. So I'll work on um, getting some more reads here uh, for this particular camera, but to improve the accuracy, but all in all, I think the other two cameras are working really well, these two. I also did not enable PTZ functionality on either of these two because I don't want there to be like a inadvertently, you know, clicking of one of the PTZ um, uh, buttons so that this camera goes out of place. I have presets saved for both of these right now. Uh, and this one I didn't touch at all since we didn't replace this camera. It's really just a matter of reprogramming this camera with Milestone so that it, it can improve its analytics. But these all look really good. Here we're getting reads on uh, all three areas. Here, here, and here. <coughs> All right, so I'll work on this one. I'll get back to you when it's done, but other than that, I think the project is complete.